very pleased to be here today to present the finding of my study on hospital and employment to you. This uh, bundle of papers are uh, co-written with Andrew Clark from the same institute, Paris School of Economics. I'm from France and I will today, I'm here to talk about um, hospital, staff, and the link with unemployment and policy. So, the, um, here we will focus on the link between hospitals and employment. Um, in the first part of my presentation, I like to draw attention on three questions. Should the state intervene in market economies? Are there some services or activities they are better provided by the public rather than by the private sector. If there are differences in efficiency, why do both sectors exist rather than a corner solution? One answer about the state intervene could be found in the paper of Schaeffer and Vishni, 2002. They provide a useful overview of various ways in which government intervention may be viewed. So you have the helping hand where government intervention serves to overcome market failures and raise social welfare. On the other side, you have the grabbing hand where government agents act, at least partly, in their own self-interest. So, a priori, the efficiency difference between public and private sector is not clear. We can find paper where public production might be less efficient than private production for incentive reasons. But what we know also is that with the private sector, we have cost containment. Well, cost containment is hopeless. We have no way to say, well, this is what you have to, 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 um, to spend. And so um, that could be a way to answer to the second question, but we will see. So empirical evidence are really difficult to come by, partly because it's so difficult to measure output in many public sector activities when we think about health or education. Here we use administrative data on the universe of French hospitals where output can be fairly carefully measured with a cost weight. That is something that is now widely used over the, um, in different, several countries. And our contribution is to relate hospital employment on unemployment rates and recent election results. Then let us move to the results. What we find? We find that public hospitals employ more staff than do other hospitals. Overmining is positively correlated with the local unemployment rate. The response to local unemployment is greater in left wings. And that, the above, only holds when the last election was a tight one. So, how we do that? In France, we have three types of hospital. Public hospital, non-for-profit hospital, and, and for-profit private hospitals. The non-for-profit hospitals are really interesting because in some respects, they are like public hospitals. They, are, they, they, they share the same um, reimbursement rules and um, they cannot select patients. On the other way, private hospitals can select patients. But this non-profit hospital, on the other hand, are like private hospitals, for-profit hospitals. In which way? They share the same, um, their employees in non-profit hospitals and, 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 and for-profit hospitals are private sector salaried workers whereas those in, in public hospital are civil servants. That would be very useful to have this group of hospitals. Because then, we have, what about the reform? 
than about the reform. Prior to 2004, we had two types of reimbursement rules. Global budget for the public sector. Public sector means public hospitals and non-for-profit hospitals. Both was paid, were paid by global budget and not incentive to capture patients because they were sure to have this budget. About private sector, they were paid by FIFO services and per diem. They compete with each other already. Then the reform. The reform uh, took place between 2004 and 2008. Um, it, it's, this reform is a DRG-based prospective fixed price payment system. And uh, it's a pro-competitive reform, so increased competition in the healthcare market. This competition is a competition on quality and not on price. We have fixed price market. Okay, so that's an important element, an important com component factor. What we can say is not only in front, we can observe that in a very strongly regulated market, we observe this kind of change, this kind of poor competitive reforms. Okay, it's very, very uh, um, a change over the European countries. So, what we can observe about um, staff here, we can see that the number of hospitals is quite similar uh, between the public sector and private one, but the number of the, the average number of employees is absolutely not the same. So some of the of these ex explain can be explained by different number of beds, different illnesses, maybe or different client populations. Let's carry out regression analysis then. And we will use as dependent variable a log hospital employment. What we find? We find that <laughs> cannot go? Okay. We, we, find, uh, we, we have two databases, one before the reform and one after the reform. The first one is a one-year database. The second one is a, is, a, is a panel database. So with the first, so with the first uh, data before the reform, we find that any public sector over mining depends on the local unemployment rates and we find no relationship between unemployment rate and non-for-profit staff or for-profit staff. The question then is, is that because greater unemployment implies greater need for health? Probably, because here we just have one year. Could be that. And private hospitals can cherry pick, so they are immune from this, perhaps. However, neither public nor for-profit hospitals can select their patients. So any public health effect of unemployment should be the same for both. But yet the estimated coefficients are very different. Public hospital employment are civil servant. Non-for-profit employees are private sector. Maybe we have to look to, maybe that is the key difference. We do that considering different, staff, uh, different categories of different categories of staff and we find the same results. But it's stronger with the low, um, um, low abilities of workers. So, as I said, as I said, it can depend on, may, maybe it's, it's, we find that because hospitals have some specific characteristics. And maybe we, it's because we just have one year, we cannot take that into account. So maybe even if we try to, to control for that, taking into account the case mix of patients, and maybe it's not enough, and maybe the specificity of hospital explains that. So we use panel data. And using panel data, we can control for, for, for hospital heterogeneity. We can control for that. And what we find? The same thing. 
exactly the same result. And what about the reforms? Because this panel data was, is before and after the reforms. Well, for sure, it's a pro-competitive reform, so we find that staff tend to decrease in hospitals. But unemployment rate variations lead to an increase in public staff. So in, area, in, in the area, areas where we observe uh, an increase in unemployment rate, we also observe an increase in staff for public hospitals only, not for profit. Another way of testing whether this is a public health issue or an example of government intervention will be to introduce local policies, po po politics. Excuse me. So we calculate expert evaluation scores regarding party social poli policy position. And what we get is that public sector hospitals employ fewer staff in more right wing constituencies. Now, look at the double direction between unemployment rate and politics. What we got? We have that public sector hospitals employ more staff in deprived region, deprived areas. But this effect is not observed in right-wing constituents. Does this government intervention reflect the helping hand or the grabbing hand? To answer to this question, this is what we do. Helping hands, it's when parties have greater latitude to push through their priorities when their majority is larger. So the political effect on employment is greater in no tight race. On the opposite, in the opposite, for gripping hands, parties may try more to please voters when they are when there is more of a chance of being voted out next election. So then, with grabbing hand, we expect the political effect on unemployment to dominate in tight races. And we observe that politics only matter when there is a chance of losing. So this looks something like the grabbing hand. So to conclude, I will say that um, public hospitals employ more staff than do non-public hospitals. Conditional on size in less treated hospital um, specificities, hospital distribution, hospital component. No, it's not explained by selection. And employment in public hospitals is strongly positively correlated with a local employment rate. About reforms effect, we observe that it reduces these poor competitive reforms, reduce hospital staff, including in, in public hospitals, but whatever and whatever hospital status, so including public hospitals. But unemployment rates variation plays only for public hospitals. About politics, we observe that the more left wing, the local area, the stronger is the relationship between local unemployment rate and public hospital employment. What about the grabbing hand or the helping hand? Local politics only matters when the previous election was relatively tied, suggest that it's more the, the grabbing hand. Do the same employment effects exist in other areas of public sector activities? such as uh, roadways, education, local administration, it is an open question. Have we uncovered an, a French exception, or does, it, does this hold for other countries? This is another question. Thank you very much.